Ugh, Twitch. Why are you doing this? I don't know if it's really a video stutter. It's just, it's acting like it's trying to autofocus, but. If I put you on auto. Oh my god, was the fucking visual me the whole time? Oh my god. Are you serious? Hmm? So the camera was twitching again, or pulsing again. I'm like, motherfucker. Oh, oh. So, I thought. Did you figure it out? I think so. What was it? I went to settings mm -hmm. and quality, and I put it on auto because it was on <laughs> 720, <laughs> and it stopped fucking pulsing. <laughs> that's that's why because when it's auto when it's trying to to match your your desired uh, input your desired output. It was converting it for you. I bet I've got mine set to something specific too. Which would explain why it wasn't really showing on the export on YouTube. Err, murder. <laughs> All of that bullshit. Well, in that case, can you put this fan on behind me? Because I was beginning to think it was the thing I'm using to diffuse the light on the lamp. And flickering in the in the wind and apparently that's not the case now so I don't want to sit here and be hot you may want to make a text block that tells people to set it on auto because it does that you may want to do that because I was seeing it too on my screen so because now it looks stable <clears throat> well see what happens when you start painting it but I bet that fixed it so and that would explain a lot do a text. Uh, so what should I say? Uh, just say if video is pulsing, switch quality to auto. Where do I put this on the screen? I guess at the top. I also don't know what color to put this in because you can't really see it in white with what I'm doing. Let's try. No, that doesn't. Sorry guys, we're trying to... Trying to find a color that's gonna be...
question is, do we want this at the bottom? to sorry bear with me I'm working on it Can you check that on your screen? Tell me if that's too big, if I need to make it smaller. Uh, you can make it smaller. <clears throat> like I would do half that size. Is that too small? No, keep going. That's good. That's good? Yeah, that right there is good. Okay. That should be what that should be legible pretty much indefinitely, so. Okay. Cause like my screen's smaller than what most people keep it at, so I wasn't sure if it was too small. Okay, so the mystery of the pulsing has been solved. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, I feel like a fucking idiot. The one thing we didn't try, I'm like it's really odd that it's not showing anywhere else but on Twitch. Fuck's sake. Okay. So, please excuse the blue tape on my hand. I have a nasty scrape on there and I didn't think anybody else wanted to see that. The skin on my knuckle, uh, I caught it on our screen door, on the screen itself, and it ripped the skin off. So, it's gonna look ugly for probably a week or two, if not longer. With the way I heal, so we're just gonna. It was not in a spot a band aid was gonna sit. Because my palms sweat, so it's like, you know what, let's just put some tape on it. And hopefully it'll be good enough. We are on a new bottle of glue. So that means I'm gonna have to pick up another bottle of glue at some point here. So today we're gonna start to lay in our, um, our tissue paper. And let me just see, make sure I don't have, okay, just making sure that stuff was not set to go off. All right, um, so I think we're going to actually work back front. Um, so I think we're going to start with our, our background feathers and like the bone sections um, here, so... I actually almost want um, our image under the live cam. But then I get, might get mad later. Um, it's like, why isn't this? Alright. So I think we'll start over here. So in our reference image, um, we've got all of the, the white bones coming up, and then we've got the little tiny pieces of um, the soft feather coming off of the support or main branch of the feathers. So I think we're going to start to lay some of those in first. Don't know if we're doing all of them. Um, we might do most of them. So today's supplies are going to be obviously our painting up to this point, um, some tacky glue, a stylus that we may or may not need. Um, I don't know if we're going to need our glue brush today, but we've got it standing by. And we've got a cup of water standing by just in case we need to use the glue brush. And we have a paper towel for cleaning off the end of our glue bottle little tiny piece of it to clean the nozzle 
and then um, we've got another or the rest of that piece for uh, drying our paper towel I mean our uh, our glue brush if we need it All right, so I think we'll start over here and then work this way what the hell did I just I don't know I just brushed something off there that I was like oh what is that okay so we got our glue and we're gonna start to lay in our glue bones. Now I don't know if I'm actually, I don't think I need to um, use the brush here to to um, words to to spread it out. You watching your timer? There. Huh? You watching your timer? Yeah, I just put them out. Oh, okay. So I know it looks like we've got a lot of glue down here, and I'm not probably gonna not um, make these wider than the um, single piece of uh, paper is. I just kind of don't see the point in that. This guy though. He's gonna be fussy. But you know what? It's okay if they're a little fussy because when we put the other um, paper on top, it's gonna be fine. And I know that I'm putting white on white, and you guys are like, well, what the hell are you doing? We're just taking our white paper snakes. And we're gonna... lay those in there, and we probably... on second thought, should be using the brush to um, to spread out the glue just a little bit. We also need scissors today. If I can get mine. I'm gonna need scissors today. And a way to keep track of where the ones went that you just cut. So I did spend a little bit of time this past week um, doing some tissue paper prep. Oh, you are just all over the place here, friend. So we've got the white paint down, right, as a guide. Um, some of that white paint may um, may peek through when we're done, and that's okay. It might actually work to our advantage. You know, not everything is going to be 100% perfect and precise out in nature, so 
Um, it's okay if it's a little wonky in this. We're just holding this guy down. Trying to get him to behave there a little bit. So he's not popping back up here before. I am ready for him to do that. This one, though. This one's being rather unruly, isn't it? This is just, you know, standard white tissue paper. And we're just putting it down in where those white glue lines are. We could probably Zoom in a bit more so that you all can get a better idea of what we're doing. going to be a little bit still hard to see because it's white on white, but you've just taken pieces of your tissue paper that you twisted into a line and dropping into the sections where you just put glue. Since we zoomed in quite so far, I'm just going to slide this up a little bit. I've got him turned just a little. I'm barely putting any glue down because I don't want it to get too crazy. Like, I want enough down to grip the paper, to sit the paper down in it. But. Don't need to be squeezing a huge amount out here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm losing my voice kind of day. Been talking a lot this week. There, Mr. Fuzz. So, again, it is viewer's choice for music in the respect that you listen to whatever you want to listen to. Because we don't want to risk any, any problems. just going 
back in as we go. Making sure everybody else is still behaving. Because they're going to shift around a little bit. You have chat points. <laughs> I didn't think you had stayed long enough to get chat points. I don't really have anything set up for chat points because I never usually have anybody in chat so I didn't bother. <laughs> We keep things simple over here. <laughs> That's all I can handle. <laughs> oh, goodness. Like, I probably have badges that need to be done, and we only did the one badge. Probably need to do a pinky badge. And, um, could probably, I've got fuzz all over my fingers, could probably stand to do a flamingo badge, too. But the badge art is so tiny. needs to sit. <laughs> so yeah, like as you put your paper in and it's sitting in the glue for a little bit, it's gonna absorb the liquid of the glue a little bit. So it may start to try to untwist or slide around. So you may have to go back and fuss with it a little bit. Sometimes. So stylus does come in handy for when we need to get in there. And deal with those situations. This guy up here is just being rather extra and not wanting to behave. Alright. That's okay though. Don't forget to clean off the tip of your stylus or toothpick or paper clip, whatever you're using pen cap periodically because if you don't you're gonna get some glue build up on there and when you really don't want it to it'll go and try to rip up everything that you're touching ah. mm. Um, if you're having trouble holding on to the paper, you could also use tweezers. Um, that's up to you and entirely optional. So did it fix the pulse on you when you went to auto? Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Really? I'm still I'm set on auto, so 
Maybe it was just a, a thing for that day or something. I don't know. Well, no, I put my view on auto, my playback view, and it stopped. Yeah, I'm not seeing any problems myself. Oh, <sighs> Twitch. Technology, I don't understand why you do the things you do. I need a teeny tiny little piece. I know that's gonna look a little strange. I think it'll look strange when the glue dries. So sometimes, depending on what you're doing, you might have to, you know, keep coming back in and reseeding until the glue really takes its hold and gets nice and grippy in there. Alright. Oh, we need more glue. So I think, let's see, that's probably as high as I can get you to go. All right, without turning entire thing. And I'm not filling in the full width of the white paint with the paper. Because I just don't see the need to because we're going to have so many layers coming in here shortly. one. Okay. Put that guy up in here that you probably can't really see me doing. Well, I can kind of see the part of it. take another piece we're gonna cut some some more pieces off of it doing a quick estimate measure there. And we'll get this one. Like, don't throw away the pieces that you've clipped off unless they're too small to handle. Because you might find that you need them in another spot. So we've got our white feather bones, I don't know what to call them, um, 
feather supports. And on the bottom half. Now I don't want to be putting in, um, let's put in this so you guys can see it a little bit better. I don't want to be putting in our feather pieces until some of these bones have really started to take hold. This is just tacky glue. Um, I'm not sure if Elmer's would work that good for you in this particular part, or like a school glue. <coughs> Excuse me, choking on air. Um, You might be <clears throat> you might be able to. I would test it and um, I, I would also recommend letting it sit till it starts to get a little bit of a skin on it maybe so it might grip the paper a little bit faster. Um, if you're doing if you're not doing the sand in the background, and uh, um, you're doing a different shade of tissue paper like in between the feather supports, um, then Elmer's might be fine. But you might be fighting with it a little bit. Like you might have to um, do a little bit more fussing. but it might still work for you. Okay. I'm thinking I severely overestimated how much white tissue paper I needed to have prepped for this, but that's okay. It's probably better to have more ready to go than not enough. And it's not gonna go to waste because um, it will get used for other projects. And just means less I have to do for that project. little guys in here. Okay. Then we can take the other part of that one. Now, I am using Elaine's Tacky Glue, um, definitely not sponsored, it's just what I'm using. Um, I tend to prefer it a bit more for this. Um, probably any Tacky Glue would work though. Just don't be using super glue or anything stupid like that because your fingers are going to be in it. Um, this is not a project that requires super glue at all. And you want something that you can get on you without any major problems because you're going to get some on you. It's, it's going to happen. It's 
even with a stylus or a toothpick down in there or something, it's you're still going to get it on you. tacky glue, the school glue. That'll wash off of you. Or peel off of you. Just keep laying these in, and I hope we can start to get some of our feathers dropped in here today. Don't know. Hopefully. I mean, it would be nice. Some of our other ones, I'm just going to go back and check on, make sure they're settling in pretty good. And they seem to be. Alright. So, hope everybody is. having a good Sunday or Monday if you're in a different part of the world. been a busy, busy week. For me, at least. Had all kinds of projects and stuff going on. might have a little bit of a break in the line but you know what I'm not gonna worry about it too much even though it kills me <laughs> but we're gonna have the other colors put in on top of it so it's not gonna be that terrible um, I mean, we've already got a slight, slight gap um, of color of the white sections um, around the beak, and that's sort of by design because we've got to have room for our feather work to go in, and um, with the outline of the beak. It's just gonna be less of a problem if we do it that way. Alright. Now 
I know I didn't get um, these ones in here yet. I'm going to focus on this upper section first. This one was lifting up a little bit. So just wanted to make sure that was definitely seated. And pull that down just a little bit. So that these upper sections can get seen. Uh oh, I dropped one. Oh man, that one trying to run away. I'm like, no. Alright, so we'll zip that down in there. very late night last night, so I'm sorry that today's stream got started a little bit later than I had wanted to. Yay for insomnia, I guess. And for something that I was working on that was only supposed to be a super quick pop in, do this and pop out. Um, decided it wasn't gonna be, and uh, decided it was not gonna cooperate, and um, flipped its shit, and I was like, oh no. No, not right now. You can't do this to me right now. And it's like, mm, yes, I can. Oh, did this set dry up here? Kinda of feels like it did. Oh. Okay, this section skinned over a lot faster than I was expecting to. I'm really pushing that down in there. Oops, we got a little carried away there. In our time allotment. That's alright though. It'll be all right. Okay. Come back in, make sure everybody else is still behaving. For the most part, they seem to be. All right, now's a good time to check for unruly glue bits stuck to your fingertips. Any glue you may have wiped off on your other hand. Alright. Okay, now. We really need to uh, keep going this upper section here. Okay. So I do have this tilted a little bit, just so that you guys can kind of, well, I guess we don't really need to tilt it. Alright, so we're working in this section here. Um, Yeah. Kind of feel like I should hit these two. So that kind of goes to that one. That kind of goes to that one. That's going to go to that one. Okay. Oh, you can't even see where I'm pointing. Um, that one kind of doesn't really seem to belong to anybody. Um, okay. So, 
actually kind of want to turn this a little bit. So I can see what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't think we really need to do a full flip on that just yet. Um, sorry, my lines are getting wobbly because I was um, dragging it along the sand and the sand was all bumpy. Alright. And I'll hold that one down in its spot for just a minute. Because that one doesn't feel like it's gonna. Feels like that's gonna pop back up. Oh, this one popped back up. So, yeah, everybody down um, the side that we've already done, I'm just kind of taking a quick look at them. It's super, super quick. Nothing looks like that's an issue that we need to fix yet, so that's good. Come back in. Our next feather support. got these little guys sitting there, but I think I need someone that's a slightly bigger little guy. <laughs> as silly as that sounds. Alright, so we'll stick him in our in our cut pile. Um Alright. So next Next one coming in. Just gonna lay it in that section of glue. Like I hate it when I have to use the white tissue paper because then you guys can't really see what I'm doing that well. And it bums me out. So sometimes if you twist your paper to um, like on an angle or something or in an arc instead of straight, and it'll happen, paper has a mind of its own. It's going to do what it's going to do. Um, don't, don't panic just you might either have to fuss with it a little bit more or maybe find a piece of paper that's gonna lay a little bit better at the angle that you're trying to put it in
so gonna keep on going. So what are you guys listening to today? some of your favorite types of music or artists to listen to. I would love to know. Well, that piece could be a little unruly for us in a few minutes. Hopefully not. That's a bit of a bigger piece there than I necessarily wanted. Although I guess it doesn't matter too much because when we put this section in it'll probably um, deal with that in any odd sitting pieces there. Do you have quite a bit of glue and fuzz buildup on my stylus? Give me one second. Seeing it is starting to bug me. All right. And we'll get this guy locked in right there. So today we are listening to what are we listening to? We're listening to our rock playlist today, or what I consider my rock playlist. It's not really just rock. But it's a lot of my my Lincoln Park, my Eve Six, Vertical Horizon. I've got some non-rock on there too, but Fall Out Boy. It's a mishmash of everything. Okay, so we've got that section. Alright, um... probably work on this section in here because we haven't touched that yet. Actually, now that I'm looking at the white tissue paper, maybe we do have just enough. I'm looking at um my uh my bag of tissue paper here. So I'm looking at how many lines we put in over here. I don't think I was originally planning on putting on this many supports. But we started, so now we're gonna finish it. Okay. 
work on this section in here just so that it's um, kind of even. Now the glue I'm using is white, so it's going to be hard to see on the white paint and the white tissue paper. Again, I kind of wish this um, glue started out as one color and then dried another, but then that could be problematic if the dye doesn't dry clear. So. section up here that's not behaving at all. And that section that we just put in. No, no, you need to stick. Alright. So, get this one laid in. And these little guys that we had cut off of some other pieces, we're going to go ahead and lay those in, in here. We are probably going to have to cut some more. Because what I have cut, I don't think, is big enough. Alright. Ah. I've got just the tiniest bit of glue on my fingertips from fussing with the other pieces and now everything else wants to stick to me. So this one's going to have just the little tip cut off. And we'll lay this one in. Try not to put too much glue down ahead of myself so it doesn't dry on us this time because that did start to happen earlier. Alright, just trying to thank you, motorcycle, for joining today's stream. trying to make sure that these other guys are laying down as much as I can get them to. I mean, I know some of them aren't going to want to. And I know there's going to be some spots where there's a little bit of a gap, and we're going to fill those in with the green that's going to go in on top of these white lines. But that doesn't mean I don't want to try to get them to behave as much as I can now ahead of time. And if anybody looks exceptionally weird, I can always um, take a little bit more glue and a little bit more tissue paper and try to fill in where it needs to be filled in. Everybody over here is pretty much behaving. 
Alright. And we've got this section filled in here. See, like over here, you can kind of see it gets a little off in some sections, and that's fine. But the ridginess that will um, start to take shape as we lay in the um, the green will uh, be more apparent there. Alright, so we just did these two down here on the edge of this one. So we're going to do this one here, do these guys. Sorry, I was just trying to make sure I was where I was supposed to be. So it's very busy going on here. Where's my, there it is. All right. Got that one in. Moving on. to our next spots. So when you're trying to measure to see how much you need to cut down, don't actually put it in the glue because your scissors will get funky real quick. Just kind of eyeball it next to the section you're gluing it into if the glue is already down. Some of these are just a smidge too long for where I want to put them. Okay. Now, we're getting there. I just don't think I have one quite this size that I need or up here so I do see a line that I put in here and I'm not really sure why it doesn't seem to continue down past that point so um, probably gonna ignore that one it'll be fine So once we get the other items put in, it won't even be noticeable.
One's kind of twist in there. All right, so where are we at here? We are. I think I'm gonna have to move where the camera is now instead of. Picture. Alright. So amazing. It's like an, an hour and we're working on the same thing. It's the way it goes sometimes. Alright, I'm just cleaning up the tip of my glue bottle. You can tell we're on a new glue bottle because I'm not having to fight to get the glue out of the bottle or wait for it. It's right there. This one, oh, that one got a little messy. I think that one belongs to this one. I think we're gonna skip that one in between there. Because I'm not really sure what I was... I think I was just in the zone painting and I was like yeah we're gonna do this and the camera had me so distracted I wasn't paying attention to where the light lines were going It's all right, we can still, still make things work, not a huge deal at all. This section's doing whatever the hell it wants. Like, it's gonna do what it wants to a degree, but you can help remind it where it was supposed to be before it completely sets. Sometimes you do have to fuss with it a little bit. And I know this part's a little bit um, repetitive or 
boring. Sorry, I've got glue all over my fingers. I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit. Uh, but it's part of it. Like, this is what you would have to go through. Potentially. If you want to try this. So, at least if you're having unruly paper you know it's not you and um, it's okay got all these tiny little glue glue bits I'm in here Getting sticky. Okay. Come on, friends. Let's. No, no. Let's cooperate, please. I'm touching this one while I'm trying to fix the other one. Of course we are. that one laid in so I do find it a little bit easier when you're just laying it in against other pieces of tissue paper like your first anchor piece of paper um, could be a little fussy but then I think once you once that sets in then you're kind of good to go so then you can just push against that piece of paper everybody's fine everybody's happy but with this one it's a little different because we've got these guys out here and we're not doing brown tissue paper in between. I just wanted to do something different. And this time. Alright, let's clean it off the stylus. So I said I was going to skip this one. This one doesn't actually have glue on it. And actually, I skipped this one too on purpose. I mean, I probably should, but it was awfully tight in there, and um, we need room to work with. So I think I got carried away with how many white lines I had put in, but that's all right. Okay, so we are up to here. gonna put one here. I think we are going to glue that one and we're gonna glue that one. Yeah, I don't think the intention was to put paper on everyone. Now that I'm thinking back to it, I was like, oh yeah, I hadn't planned to. Some of these were just going to be painted in. That's why I had so many. And that's okay. Yeah, because I've got a lot. I've got a bit more room to work with on the other side in between um, sections. But that's all right. 
This is fluid. The situation is fluid, rather. We can, uh, we can still change course. These two are like siblings that just do not want to get along. At this point, I wish I could shove them in an extra overly big shirt and make them get along. Sorry, I'm just getting some glue off of my hands. As you need to do at times. Or we might need to pull out some more paper here soon. one in it's gonna go there where's my oh lost my stylus it was right in front of me all right and we are Doing pretty good here. Fantastic, no, but we're doing pretty good. And take one of these guys. We cut down earlier. Stick that in there. This one's just a little bit short, so we'll tuck that guy up in there. And this guy. Still need to get the other part of that one in. And then this one. That one's trying to unravel over there. Got plastic bags sticking to my arm over here. Alright. Set that one down in. that one in. Mm. 
Yeah, we're gonna need some more paper pulled out of our bag of paper holding. And just making sure everybody's seated like they're supposed to be. All right, now we're gonna have to make some decisions over here because we've got a lot of line work in here. And I got way carried away, so. You all right? Yeah, I just visited my mic for a little bit. Okay. Uh, your mother is sending you a song if you want to flush. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Um, yeah. Oh, thanks, Chupa. Chupa! I know it looks a little chaotic at the moment because it's white glue on white lines with white paper, but it's all part of the process. Oh, what part are you working on? Oh, okay. The, the feather supports, yeah. the feather bones, as I like to call them. But... Um, I know it's a little tough to see. At least we figured out, well, I don't know if it's really figuring out, but I kind of think the camera issue got fixed. If you put your video playback quality or video play quality to auto, if, you're, if your video is pulsing or looks like it's trying to autofocus, it should make that go away. <laughs> and um, at least it did for me. It did for Russell. Oh, you are seeing it? Okay, cool. So. Okay, I'm actually now not sure if I have enough tissue paper prepped for this part. I, I've got other colors, so if I run out of white before we wrap up, that's fine. But it's always tough to figure out if I have enough. You sit down there. All right to clean off the glue bottle so we're on a new glue bottle I'm gonna have to pick up another one just to keep in reserves at some point after I uh, check the bank account but um because I ordered something I can't remember what it was I ordered I think it was soap well I had to I got my my twitch payout so we paid for um I paid for Russell's birthday present. It was an early birthday present. Um, Cause, oh, where am I going with this one? Um, I guess we'll go this way. Um, because the pet store had the hermit crabs and I really wanted him. I'm actually gonna split the difference and go in between those two. Um, I really wanted him to get his crabs, so um, we got his birthday present early. Well, I got his birthday present early, and I had to pay that off. So um, after that, <laughs> I had a little bit left, and um, I ordered some soap. I was going to order soap from Lumi, but I'm so scent sensitive. I was nervous about spending so much on shipping for a bar of soap. So I was like, uh, I don't know. Because they had a, a lime citrus or a twisted lime that I wanted to try. Because other lime scents don't seem to bother me. But then Russell's like, oh, but what if we get the stuff from Kermit's? Because... He likes the stuff from Kermit's, and we know I can use the stuff from Kermit's. And I was like, well, all right. And we went to go order it, and they're out of stock on a lot of stuff. And, uh, which was surprising. I was like, oh. And we did find some soap on there, and I was like, okay, well, you know, maybe I can replace my lotion. I've been out for a while. They've got a key lime aloe 
lotion. It's a little watery, but it's not bad. Um, and it's a scent I can tolerate. And then he looked at the shipping and he's like, oh my god, no. And I was like, what? He goes, shipping's like $20. And I was like, what? I was like, get the fuck out of here. He's like, no, it's like 20 bucks. And I'm like, well, we ain't doing that. Because that's more than what I was going to spend. And, um... Like, I think I was spending, like, 10 bucks, and I didn't want to pay $20 in shipping, and I'm like, I don't have that kind of money right now. Um, I was like, he goes, why is it so much? And I was like, well, I mean, they do ship food. They do ship, um, you can order pies and, and stuff, and perishables, so I can understand why it's that much, but I wasn't ordering any of that, and it is shipping from Key West, so, at least I think it's shipping direct from Key West, so I'm like, yeah, let's, uh... Let's hold off on that. And the people that make his deodorant that he's been using have a lime soap. He has a lime deodorant. Um, and we didn't know they made soap. And we saw it on Amazon, but it was only in a six pack. And I'm like, I don't know. He goes, well, my deodorant doesn't bother you. And I was like, well, I don't smell your deodorant across the room like I do your mother's like his mom's all into the florally perfumey shit um I'm not that kind of girl my migraines freak the fuck out on anything that um is perfumey or extra flowery or just uh, I, I, I just I can't handle the perfume scents and she fucking loves her smelly shit and I can smell her across the room when she has flowery perfumey lotion and deodorant on and it's terrible um so he switched to this lime stuff and while I don't smell it on him across the room that's fine he goes well it's the same scent in theory and I was like yeah but a, s a deodorant scent being on you across the room is a little different than soap being on me that I can't escape. Um, it may just be so light that it kind of um, dissipates by the time it gets to me um, with your deodorant. So we found, we went to their direct website and um, they sold it in single bars there, so we picked up one of those single bars to try. Because I get so tired of being restricted to the unscented stuff, like you've got no idea. It's... I want to smell pretty. <laughs> you were checking out some soaps on Scotch and they are pretty pricey? Yeah. Like. The soap on Lumi wasn't bad. In theory, it was $5.99 a bar, and supposedly the... I'm sorry, it was $6.99 a bar, $5.99 if you signed up for their subscription service, where I guess they auto-deliver it. The bars were supposed to last a, a, a good while, but it was a risk for me to take not knowing how I was going to handle the smell. If it's a smell I know I can handle, I don't mind paying a little bit more for a quality product. I'm fine with that. But with it being such a risk for me, not knowing if they made it a perfumey scent instead of a more natural scent, I was like, I don't know about this. I'm scared. Because, you know, then it's money down the drain. And... And... A lot of times returning stuff is a fucking pain in the ass. So it was like, uh, I don't know about this. Um, I, I kind of wish. And I understand companies not wanting to do this in case people try to copy their, their scent formula, but they could also try to copy the scent formula if they actually buy the product. Um, I kind of wish pro uh, companies that sold stuff that had sense to it would offer a free scratch and sniff um, 
sampler card that you could request through the mail to see if this was a scent that works for you uh, before you commit to buying it. Um, I'm sure they would rather, oh yeah, we offer free returns and and um, if you don't like it, hope that you know, you're too lazy to send it back, but <laughs> um, you know, it just, it, I'd feel better about buying a scent that I haven't been able to smell before I buy it if like they did that. Like I'm in the grocery store looking like an idiot because I'm standing there and even on my shampoo, my body wash, um, hand soap, hand sanitizer is a big one. Um, I'm opening every bottle and smelling it. And like people like look at you weird. It's like, no, no, I have, especially the hand sanitizer. We had bought, um, we had, were running out because we had a big refill bottle um, when things all started going south <laughs> last year. And um, we'd had it for a while because we hadn't been hitting the hand sanitizer that hard. Um, and when everything popped off, we started uh, using it a bit more and then we ran out of our refill bottle and I'm like, okay, They're, they changed the scents on two of the brands that we used to buy and uh, went to use it and oh my god it was terrible it just smelled like straight perfume like the the perfume after tang and I'm like oh god and, and Russell's like what it's like they changed the formula I can't I can't I could not get the smell off my hands it was bad and we saw this other brand we're like oh well let's try it and we ch we got in the car and I went to put it on my hands and the smell almost knocked me off my feet I was like oh my god no no no. We got home. I was putting shaving cream on my hands. I was putting, um, like Lysol spray counter cleaner on my hands, dish soap. I tried just about everything to get the smell off my hands and it stayed with me for almost a full day and it made me so sick and I'm like, oh no, no. So, I mean, I look like a moron when we go shopping, but everything I have to pre-smell so I'm not A, wasting money, and B, um, trying to avoid a migraine. Which really sucks for me because I love Bath and Body Works. I loved going in there. I would go in there every chance I was in the mall. On the few times that I was in the mall. <laughs> I don't go that much anymore. Um, I loved that store. They had a scent that I loved to get. Um... And Russell didn't mind the smell of it either, so that was awesome. And uh, they used to have it all the time. Apparently it was a trial scent. And then they switched it to uh, a seasonal scent that you could only get it um, like in January, in June or something. And um, then and it was okay. And I was like, all right, well, I can just stock up. Then they changed the scent formula. And then I couldn't wear it anymore. I was like, really? I was like, why did you have to change the scent formula? This was working. <laughs> why? I was so mad. Now I can't even walk past the place. It, it's it's terrible. It's only gotten worse for me. Can't even walk past it. I dread like the little kiosks out in the middle of the mall where they're like trying to sell perfume or lotions or like facial scrubs and stuff and they're like grabbing your hand as you're walking by oh come here let me show you something like no don't don't touch me <laughs> don't put anything on me like no <laughs> no I have migraines don't 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 make me sick I'm functioning today please don't ruin this day Oh, goodness. I do wish I um, was able to go to the boardwalk for my birthday this year, but that's not happening. Um, big birthday this year, so... I don't think we're going to be able to do anything, though. 
We might get takeout. <laughs> That'd probably be about it. Let's see if I can find takeout that I want. So we just don't have the money to. We don't have money to go away. And we can't go away anyway because we can't leave the parents alone. And the mother-in-law is still out of state or went back out of state. Um, she's back up in New Hampshire. So we're still trying to deal with the house stuff. Oh, come on, sit. Sit down in there. Stay a while. And listen. Oh, you got a big guy. Huh, I kind of figured. We got so last night um, before the Wild Challenges podcast my mom wanted uh, Arby's for dinner so Russell went and she got us something too and I had just gotten some, some chicken like chicken nuggets chicken strips something like that um, and I didn't have time to eat before the show. And I really didn't want to eat before the show because I was like, oh, then I'm going to be burping and shit. I'm already not professional enough, so. <laughs> let's, uh. Let's at least try to. Not add to it. So. Um. I put them in the fridge to um, eat afterwards with my dinner because I was going to put them in a salad that I was going to make. I'm like, okay, fine. Well, Momo saw that I had gotten food and I usually give him a tiny bite of something that I have if it's something that he can have. Um, and he never saw me eat so I think he thought I still had the food on my desk. And throughout the podcast I can hear him gurring at me going grr, grr, in the background trying to remind me that I hadn't shared my food with him yet and I guess because the keyboard was in front of me on my desk so I could see my push to top key a little bit easier um, he's like gurring at me and I'm like dude I don't have any food stop um and then we're thinking, well, does he have to go to the bathroom? And it was kind of starting to storm. And so Russell's trying to take them out. And he's, like, kind of ignoring Russell and then laying back down. And then he's starting to gur again. And we're like, dude, what is your problem? And I was like, you know what? I haven't eaten yet. I think he's mad that he didn't get any of my food. Russell's like, no. I'm like, yeah. And, uh... So after the show, I went and made my dinner, sat down, gave him a tiny piece of the chicken, gave Zuzu a tiny piece of the chicken. As soon as I was done eating, he lay down on the bed and didn't make another peep. <laughs> it's like, really? <laughs> the show was the highlight of your weekend. Yeah, it was weird the, couple, the uh, month that Lita had taken off for the wedding because I I do so much um, for her on the uh, back end of things for the show that I use Saturday as my anchor day for the week which is strange but everything plays off of Saturday it's like okay Saturday it's show day um, you know I have to do X Y and Z tonight you know there's a whole routine that I go through um, for for show production on the back side of things there's, there's a whole process <laughs> um, that uh, I, I do and a whole routine I go through every Saturday night after the show and then with the show not running for like a month 
I didn't know what to do with myself. Like, I was so lost. I had no idea what day of the week it was. It was weird. It was weird. I was like, this feels wrong. I mean, it was cool because I had Saturday nights free again. And uh, I was able to get some extra challenger leveling stuff done. And uh, let me work on some other projects I had going on in the background a little bit more, but it just, it felt so weird with the show not running those weeks. But it shows running again. Um, and things seem to be falling back into place, though. It, it was a long night last night uh, doing show stuff and, and website stuff for, for Lita, because something went haywire with the website last night, and I have no idea what the hell happened, because it was one of the pages that I edit, and it was fine last week when I edited for the show, and then... Last night I went to pop in, it was the last thing I had to do, and uh, I went to update the podcast page, and I'm looking at the code side of things, I'm like, that doesn't look right. Something looks weird. This looks like one giant text block, there's usually breaks in it. And I'm sitting there looking at it, and I'm like, something's wrong. And so I went and I looked at the uh, podcast page on the live side of the website that was up that that you all could see. And uh, I almost fell out of my chair. I'm like, no! And uh, it, it was at that moment that I realized what was wrong on the code side. And I was like, oh, shit. Come on. So uh, I had... I waited a little bit after I messaged her. I'm like, hey, um, don't know what happened. I didn't do anything. Did you do something <laughs> and, um, that, that I need to know about? And uh, she's like, no, I didn't do anything. Why? And I showed her a picture of what the, the podcast page looked like. She's like, oh, shit. Um, I, I was able to fix it. I, I knew what was wrong. Um, Russell's like, we'll see if she has a backup of the page. And I'm like, I don't think she does. At least not, not a recent one. So I spent the next hour and a half adding in, actually I think it was more than an hour and a half, it might have been closer to two hours um, fixing that nightmare it wasn't it wasn't a terrible fix, like it was fixable, it was just not expected to have to fix that last night, and I was like ugh, really but got that fixed up. Everything should be good now. It was fine when I left it last night. And then I realized, hey, we need to start doing um, extra backups on this page. So I can just grab the copy of the backup and slip it in should this happen again. But, um, I've got my bloodthirsties. I've almost got all of the bloodthirsties that we're running currently ready. Um, the hunter's done. The well, hunter's ready. Um, priest is ready. Mage is ready. Rogue is not ready. Um, I haven't tried to kill anything yet. In Bastion with that rogue. Um, I'm kind of terrified to, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm not sure what I can kill. It'll be posted tonight, um, 9 o'clock. The VOD should be available, though. Um, 
if you go to the Twitch page, you should be able to replay the VOD now. Um, the MP3 version of the show might be available now on the podcast page. Um, the video will be posted to YouTube tonight. Um, 9 p.m. Eastern. Because there's exclusivity clauses for affiliates on Twitch where it's theirs exclusively for like 24 hours. But the MP3, itself might be found on the podcast page now, maybe? But, um, the rest of it, the YouTube video won't be available till tonight. Um, but the Twitch VOD should be available to rewatch. now yeah um the vod i think it holds the vods for two weeks i think partners get to be held a lot longer affiliates get a i think a two-week hold all right i'm just sliding this up a little let me see where am i at on the screen here okay angle my camera is it makes things look more crooked than they actually are okay so we're in this section here Mm, we might have enough paper okay oh reach forward to grab the blue bottle and my entire lower back just clicked I'm not sure if it was a good click or not, but it was a click. I think those are the most terrifying where it's like, um, why? Why did you do that? Because then I'm like waiting for the pain to come and I'm like, um, was this a bad direction to move in? Am I going to regret this deeply in like 30 seconds or (laughs) was this just a, uh, a meaningless click that doesn't hurt. Because I'm one of those reaction owl people where I'll walk into the corner of a doorway and I'm like, ow. And then somebody's like, oh my god, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. So. Oh, goodness. Okay. I mean, I, I try to show the the whole process. It does kind of irk me when I see other, even art videos sometimes, where they're like, okay, well, it's more about getting to the finished product and rushing through it, but they don't show you if they had any struggles or what weirdness to could happen. Like, this one just doesn't want to sit. It keeps twisting. And I kind of want to see potential struggles because then you don't know if you're doing it right. You know, if you try to do it and it's like, why isn't this working? Theirs worked fine. And well, they're not showing you steps X and Y, they're just jumping to Z. So, and I don't think that's fair. I think people deserve to see the potential issues that you could run into and still make it come out look fine coming make it come out fine and look fine um you know oh yeah that that could happen but it's okay if that happens because you can still fix x y and z 
So. Now I am skipping some of the white painted lines in here. Because like I said earlier, I realized I didn't plan on putting the paper down on every single one. But a lot of those white lines we're going to end up not seeing at some point anyway. We might see a little bit of them, but that's okay if some of them poke through because it will give us a little bit more of a depth illusion. Because when the feathers get laid in on top, it'll like push like this line back a little bit, in theory. And um, I was working on my green paper. Sorry, I thought I had to cut that one. I realized I didn't need to. Um, I was working on prepping the green paper and I've got some green paper prepped. Like I've got that color. Oh, can't really see that color. Got that color. I've got a bunch of this color. And I've got a little bit of medium green done. I didn't get as much medium green done as I wanted to. I've got a little bit of our blue color. And um, I had to prep some black tissue paper. Because I needed it for this project and I needed it for another project I'm working on off stream for YouTube. and. Uh, I ran out of time the rest of the week to do any recording for that after I got the paper prepped because bloodthirsties needed to be thirstified. So I was like, damn. Now tonight, after I get done here, I have to go and finish doing something for Lita for the website and make dinner, do some house chores. So I don't know if I'm going to get to work on my off stream project tonight. Um, Cause I still have to deal with that rogue. So I don't know. I might try to deal with the rogue and see how the rogue's gonna go and if the rogue's not gonna go I might have to quick grab another lower level challenger and uh, do something with them instead because I know how long the hunter took and I know how long um, oh wait, okay, we're gonna have to, okay, just seeing where it was on the screen, because sometimes it's, oh, I missed one. I missed one. done that a couple times where I've like started to move on to the next section I'm like oh hey I didn't put a paper in that spot all right everybody else looks like they are laying down pretty good as I'm there's a little funkiness up in the top section you guys can't see that right now but I think we can fix that with some other paper. If not, I will just lay another piece of white tissue paper down on top of it to connect the two. Do what we can there. Alright. So, I think we need to get this one. And We'll do this one. Um, that one. That 
that one. I'm not. Guess we should put one in there. I'm not sold on this one, but. That's okay. Alright. I don't know how much of that you're able to see, so we're going to turn this guy. We're going to turn him a little bit. So he's going to be sideways for a minute. And I just put my hand and arm in all of the wet glue ever. Good job. This one in here. Hang on, I gotta do something with the glue going up my arm. Or else I'm gonna be having everything glued to me. And while that sounds hilarious, not really what I had planned for today. So we'll probably need a little bit more paper, but we'll pull it out from the bag. The supply bag. But it looks like we did pretty much have enough. The stylus is all sticky now. Alright. And we'll stick you over here, because you look like you're a good fit for that spot. And I will show you what the other side looks like now that it's um, the glue's gone a bit transparent over there once we get done with this side so that you can see what that all looks like. Alright, I don't know if I need that piece. This might be a little, a little small. And I keep tilting my canvas because I keep leaning on it. Alright, so we don't we still do have this raw sand um, that's not sealed here, this brown from uh, last week, so the glue will try to soak into that quicker than if it was just a um, piece of canvas. So that's probably why it's um, drying a bit quicker than I had anticipated. Alright, so we need to get a little bit more white. I need to get my fingers degluified here. So I pulled out all of my colors because I wasn't sure how far we were going to go today, but we might just do the white bone feather support things and um, they're not really bone. It's just what I'm calling them. And I know I'm not calling them the right thing. But um, 
I want to make sure that these are good and dry before we move on with the next step of um, putting in the feather layers. I'm just double checking everybody that's already down here, making sure they're off my finger <laughs> making sure they're behaving so to speak because we've had to readjust a few hi momo what's up hi buddy mommy's almost done what can i do for you i don't have any food all i have is a drink momo was climbing up my leg saying hey And I don't know why. I have a vague idea why. Well, I have two vague ideas why, but I'm not sure which one's correct. Momo buddy has to have surgery soon. We forgot what day, though. We're terrible pet parents. Russell put it in his phone, I think. I don't remember if he put an alarm in or if he just made a notation. We might have to dig through his phone later. <coughs> I don't think it's tomorrow. Twenty second. The twenty second. So uh Thursday. Thursday. Okay. So Wednesday night. No food and water after midnight. Yeah, and I should get a message too. Okay. And then we still have to figure out when your doctor's appointment was for. I don't know if you actually put that in your phone or not. Uh I do not see. I feel like you said twenty eighth. I think so too. We'll find out. They'll, they'll call me. Oh, I don't know. Sit. <laughs> Stick to the canvas, not to me. Alright. Hi, Momo. Momo, go lay down. I know you've gone on yourself. What's up? I'm sorry to think it really is because you're, you're streaming. Yeah, he doesn't like it when I'm streaming. He wants the attention or he thinks whatever I have in front of me when I'm streaming is food. It's not food, buddy. I promise. I know everybody else got food, but I didn't. I'm cooking tonight. I got something special that I wanted to cook tonight. Yeah, and that's not puppy approved either. No. It's seasoning and it's not good for you. I love you. Hi. What's up? Do you have to potty? He can't possibly. Uh-uh. Really, cow? Oh, like the worst place ever. Well, at least you missed your clothes. Uh, Come on, cow, cow. Get out of there before you do it's, it's been... All of the animals are going crazy now. Animals, I'm almost done. Momo wants attention. Or he thinks I have food. And I, I really don't have anything to eat right now. I'm actually hungry. I kind of want something to eat. Why are you waiting until I clean up and do it? Because <laughs> it's cow. Oh, and that's the third one. My bad. There's the first one. Which again, my small miracle missed your clothes off. <laughs> Oh, Cal's been in so much trouble the past oh, few days. God, I guess the bedroom door didn't get shut tight the one day, and um, he managed to pry it open and got in there and had the older female cat cornered and trapped. Her nails got stuck in the bed sheet, and she was like upside down on the floor or on the bed or something and he was terrorizing her he keeps trying to have his male kitty way with her even though he is very much fixed she is very much fixed she wants nothing to do with him and he's not taking no for an answer 
so we try to keep them separated and we will swap them out of the bedroom throughout the course of the day so that she gets some time out of the bedroom but he's been he's been a bit much with her recently I don't know what it is Apparently there's a small percentage of cats that even after they're fixed can still um, the hormones are still overriding the fixage so it's been it's been a bit of a trial but we refuse to rehome either one of them because it, they, they can't help what's going on with them. And they are both rather bonded. Yes, they they are bonded to the other cats and to us. And it, it's a problem we can work with, basically. Um, so, majorly inconvenient for us and very frustrating for us but that's no reason to um, to upend their lives and the only lives that they've really known well m the older female um, we don't know what life she had before she came to us because we ended up um, she ended up showing up outside our house on a very cold night we found her laying in our trash bags that were out for trash pickup the next morning. We'd never seen her before. And she was just huddled down in the plastic bags trying to sleep and we're like, oh no, what is this? Um, we fed her and then she was howling at our door trying to come in and we're like, oh, this isn't... She's got to belong to somebody, right? So we set up our dog kennel with a little tiny mini litter box and some food and water because you know strange cat we we don't want to just let this cat in our cats don't know her she doesn't know our cat she doesn't we don't know how she's going to react to the dogs in an indoor setting we're like well we'll just hold her for the night and uh, we'll call animal control in the morning or the pounds and have them come pick her up maybe somebody is missing her um, we tried posting on facebook that night um nobody really seemed to say anything called the pound the next morning or animal control they came and picked her up pound posted on her um, they said she was a senior female they did not want her to have to spend Christmas in the pound because it was a week or so before Christmas and we're like damn it but you know we were afraid that she belonged to somebody we, we weren't going to keep somebody else's cat if it was missing that's an asshole thing um, so we uh, we waited and they did the five day hold on the cat. Nobody posted that they were missing her. And um, all right, so we're gonna the camera's gonna get a little weird here for a second as I resize this down so that we can see what's happening. Um, and when animal control had come to pick her up, she was growling at the animal control control officer. And we're like, uh, she didn't growl at us the entire time she was here. So she wasn't happy with them. So we're like, shit. And um, we wanted to take her, but we didn't have the money for the adoption fee. And we weren't going to have it until January when the month rolled over. So we messaged the, the, the town's pound and we're like, hey, um... We'd like to take her, but we won't have the adoption fee until next month. Um, so if nobody takes her by then, we'll take her. And the, the lady at the pound's like, you know what? I'm going to waive the adoption fee because I really don't want this cat to spend Christmas in here. So she's like, come get her. <laughs> and we're like, oh, okay. So that's how we ended up with her. Don't know if she was a dump. Don't know if she had been a feral. I don't think she was a feral. Um, she did cough up a huge tapeworm like a month after, two months after we had her, 
that we didn't know was there, um, even though she had been wormed. Um, so uh, that was weird. But uh, so we don't know how long she'd been on the street. Um, might have been a while, but nobody claimed her. Nobody said they were missing her. So now we have an older female. And then we have the crazy kitten that um, materialized in our lives one night when we were going for a walk. And she's very crazy, like a combination of the two older cats that had passed away, which is kind of hilarious. But, um, so we figured that was, that was a gift from the two of them because they knew how much we were missing them. So that's pretty much where we're at for today. We're, like I said, I want to make sure that all of our feather supports, um, that one's got a little bit of a gap in it, but I, I think we can make that one work. Um, that one had twisted a little bit, but I think we can work with how things are lining up now. I just have to watch a couple in the bottom corner that are kind of going off the screen that are wanting to twist a little bit and they'll eventually grip and, and hold. I just have to keep an eye on them. So this whole side over here is somewhat dry. I just want to make sure it's fully dry before we start putting the feathers in. So we're going to stop it there today and um, next week we'll try to start a little bit earlier so we can start laying in our background feathers and I want to do the background feathers first before we move up to the front because um, I feel like some of this stuff is going to be laying down on top of that and coming up over it and I just think it's going to be a hell of a lot easier to deal with that way. So that's going to do it for today. Um, so thank you guys for popping in. I greatly appreciate your time. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Next stream will be Wednesday. Um, we'll try to start around four if not a little bit earlier in the afternoon. We'll be working on wild challenges stuff so um, Definitely bloodthirsty. If we have time, we'll try to squeak the iron in. Don't know if we will. We'll try. Um, we'll see. Iron's about close to halfway through level 49. Um, Thursday will be Stardew Valley. And Friday will be another franchise Friday with Planet Zoo. Um this week in Planet Zoo we're going to try to start decorating um, since we've made back a little bit of money from um, the building of everything that we put in so far. So we're going to try to make things look a little bit pretty and um, hope the donations start coming in a bit more as I'm trying to understand the whole animal educator speaker thing and um, I think I'm going to start setting up every other month and maybe just keep the one speaker and for now and like do the the animal exhibit that we're gonna put in in probably another week or two um, that's gonna be across from the turtles uh, have him speak there as well I know our education's not very good at the moment but I've got at least one one speaker in um, down where the animal educator doesn't talk and uh, we'll, we'll figure things out from there. But this week on, on Planet Zoo Stream, we're, we're gonna try to start prettifying some of our buildings because they're just the ugly shells and um, now we have a little bit money to work with. So again, thank you guys for popping in. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I will see you all on Wednesday, hopefully, for, for World of Warcraft stuff. And until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I hope your work week starts out well. And have a good one, guys. <laughs>